So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to rotate through the golf ball and how your posture massively influences the main reason why you're probably not rotating through the golf ball. Now, the one thing that we tend to see with all professional golfers is they have this capability to turn the body through the ball and they're able to keep the hands and arms in front of their body. And this is gonna help you maximize things like distance and athleticism. But what it's also gonna do is it's gonna help you control the club. Now what happens with most amateur golfers is they have much more of a tendency where the body stops moving, hands and arms tend to take over, and then you're gonna lose all that athleticism. But also, because the club's always sort of trailing behind the body, so to speak, you're hugely gonna lose that consistency as well. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to turn correctly, how to set up to the golf ball correctly, and a simple drill that you can practice at home to make sure that you're getting it absolutely spot on. So the first thing that we have to understand is hip depth. This is the key thing. Now, what we are looking for with hip depth, if I stand to the side here, is we need to be able to get in the backswing position, get your trail hip back. As you start the downswing, pull your lead hip back, and as you swing through, maintain your lead hip back. So my right hip goes back, my left hip goes back, my left hip stays back, and then eventually I'll finish on the through swing. Now, what I tend to suggest to most of my students is do this type of exercise first. Place your hands on the lower part of your stomach because it will just help you get a feeling for where your sort of lower body is facing. Now, as I sort of rotate back, the feeling that I tend to encourage a lot of my students that works really well is in the backswing position. You want to feel like the back of your hands are pointing down towards your trail ankle whilst keeping your head pretty still. And then you want to feel like it progressively points down towards your lead ankle. So it's kind of like just a simple rotational motion but the key feeling here is to make sure that the hands are pointing in a very much a downward facing fashion. That's really fundamentally key because if I sort of demonstrate an incorrect rotation here where I do something like this or something like this, can you see the way my hands are facing much more towards you on like a horizontal plane as opposed to much a downward plane? Now, if we switch that to the side on perspective, if I demonstrate the correct rotation, downward, 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 as opposed to horizontal, horizontal. And if you have an issue with your hip rotation, and you have a tendency to move closer towards the ball, then you are forever gonna compensate in your posture. So it really is a case of good posture, hands on the stomach region, right hip back, left hip back left hip stays back. So it's a nice rotational motion like so. Now, if I sort of, again, demonstrate what happens with most amateurs, like so, and then they fire the right hip forward. Can you see the difference here? And this is making me move progressively closer to the ball, and that's gonna mean that I'm gonna get the sequence wrong as opposed to this. So if you start to practice that as a little bit of feeling, that's the important thing, because that's gonna give you the ability to retain hip depth. Okay, so if you can get good hip depth and you get a feeling for that, then the last thing that you want to be doing is setting up to the golf ball incorrectly. Because if you set up to the ball incorrectly, it's going to lend itself to your loss of hip depth. Now, what I tend to see with most amateurs is they tend to sit down too much like so, like this. So you see the way my shoulders are pretty much over my toe line, my hips fall too far behind me, and my hands and arms are too far out in front of me. Now, from here, this is always going to encourage my arms to move out in this sort of fashion. You can see there's no way I can turn through from this type of position. All it's going to lend itself to is this type of motion. So what we want to do is make sure that it's a nice bend of the hips first. So see the way I move my upper body over the ball, then introduce a softening of the knees. So see the way my shoulders are much more over my toe line here and I'm much more over the golf ball. So my, hands hang, my arms hang down nice and vertically and to most amateurs, they tend to feel like they're obviously standing much closer. But what this posture is gonna do is it's gonna mean you can swing back, getting your right hip back, you can get your left hip back, and you can keep your left hip back, as opposed to this type of posture, see the way my pelvis is more horizontal, and this is gonna lend itself to that sort of standing up motion. And this is where John Rahm comes into it. And so John Rahm is one of the tour pros, as I'm sure there are many other examples if we dug deep enough, who stands quite close to the ball. But theoretically, it doesn't really matter. What John Rahm does is he likes to stand close to the golf ball. He also has a tendency in the takeaway because of the flexion where the club and the arms tend to move in this sort of fashion and here. But in the downswing, because he's so good at rotating through the ball, this brings the club back through. And I would suggest for some of you, experiment with standing slightly closer to the ball. Learn your hip rotational moves first, stand closer to the ball, and this drill should really help you get a feel for that. If this drill is get yourself at home, pretty close to the wall. So I wouldn't necessarily suggest you actually rest your head completely on the wall, but you want to be within a couple of inches of it. Now, all you want to do from here is just demonstrate a nice backswing position. 
where your key emphasis is making sure that your sort of trail hip gets back and behind you as I'm demonstrating here. Now again, what happens with most amateur golfers is that they have a tendency to move this hip forward, which gets you closer towards the wall. And as you can see now, there's less space for me to bring my hands and arms into, as opposed to what we want to do is get the feeling of pulling the left hip back and then continuing to rotate in this type of direction. And what you should feel is the way that even if you sort of wanted to do like a, a right arm skimming a stone action similar to this, as you keep rotating, it brings the hands and arms to the left of the wall. So that's ultimately the feeling that you kind of want to have. Most amateur golfers tend to move this way, which is why you pull the arms down and that's why you get stuck and scoopy. You want to kind of get the feeling similar to what we see with Ram, where the hands and arms move more this way, but because they rotate, he's able to bring his hands and arms in this sort of direction. This type of motion is doable. It just takes practice and getting used to the kind of balance. And that's why I think this drill will help lots of you out.